इसमें नहीं बोलना है एक बार प्रेजेंटेशन दे दूंगा एंड देन इन द एंड वी कैन डिस्कस एनी क्वेश्चन ठीक है क्लियर सो ओके सर दिस इज योर कोर्स बीएससी एससी 705 एंड एग्रीकल्चर का सबसे सेंट्रल पार्ट है ये जो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो सी द सिलेबस फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्कोप ऑफ वेजिटेबल ब्रीडिंग एंड सीड प्रोडक्शन ओरिजिन देन सेकंड टॉपिक इज ओरिजिन रूरल बायोलॉजी ब्रीडिंग सिस्टम वेजिटेबल क्रॉप जंप प्लांट रिसोर्सेज प्रिंसिपल एंड मेथड ऑफ ब्रीडिंग सेल पॉलिनेटेड अपन क्रॉस पॉलिनेटेड एंड क्रॉस पॉलिनेटेड वेजिटेबल क्रॉप्स प्लांट इंट्रोडक्शन सिलेक्शन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज पॉपुलेशन इंप्रूवमेंट न्यूट्रिशन एंड पार्क प्लांटिंग सी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कन्वेंशनल वैरायटी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एपन हाइब्रिड यूजिंग वेरी स्टेबिलिटी सेल्फ इन कॉम्पेटिबिलिटी ऑफ वेरियस फॉर्म्स मेथड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ब्रीडर फाउंडेशन सर्टिफाइड सीड आइसोलेशन कॉर्डिनेशन सीड हार्वेस्टिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड स्टोर सो सी टेस्टिंग एंड सर्टिफिकेशन सी डायरेक्ट वेजिटेबल सीड टेस्टिंग दिस प्रोग्राम है सो द सिलेबस इज एम टू प्रोवाइड यू द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सीड इन सम ओके so we should uh, study the how the seed is produced how how they can be produced by the breeding program and uh, ultimately uh, seed is the sole cause of uh, growth of any agriculture industry so uh, agriculture must be industry uh, till now the agriculture is not an industry so in that direction we will uh, discuss okay so what is seed you can see what is seed Seed is a ripened ovule or fertilized mature ovule containing embryo, which is which has developed after fertilization. So, ripened ovule or fertilized mature ovule, right? This is called as the seed. And uh, seed is uh, produced uh, after the fertilization, and uh, after when they are dry, they are dispersed in the environment. Okay. So, now, what are our number? Down to you. Left out your own number. Okay. <coughs> okay yes so what is seed seed is a fertilized mature ovule right now it's a edible perfectly so any part of organ of plant which has capacity to form a new plant is also called as a seed okay or you can say any propagule that is responsible for maintaining genetic quality of seed uh, genetic quality of plant is also called as a seed so seed is not limited to fertilized yeah. ovule okay seed is not limited to fertilized fertilized mature ovule right uh, seed is also a plant part you can see the cuttings uh, sometimes you sometimes the root is used sometimes the root part is used so any propagule that can uh, make a plant is also called as a seed right uh, and what is embryo embryo you can see the structure uh, the small part of the seed is called as the embryo and uh, so embryo is surrounded by the food store and outer coat is the seed coat so embryo is a living organism embedded in the supporting food storage tissue and protective coat and any propagative material is called as embryo right uh, any miniature plant even you can call them as a embryo even the dormant plant can be called as embryo so any generative plant part even of the plant is called as the embryo so why we are talking about the quality of seed quality of seed is essential because quality of seed is going to enhance the productivity right because population is increasing day by day and there must be increase in the productive productivity so by the effort of icr uh, there is a 10 to 15% increase in the productivity because of good quality of seed so total emphasis uh, is now uh, over the how we can produce a good quality seed right because uh, Uh, seed is the central to all the agriculture uh, growth right uh, this depends on this also uh, going to affect the yield of cultivar production and distribution of uh, various kind of food products okay so high quality seed does play a pivotal role in the crop production okay 
So, so, so there is a sustainable, you want sustainable increase in yield, quality of crop depends on the various factors. What are the factors? These are factors such as fertilizer, irrigation and plant production which are suitable, that is suitable for the agronomic practices. Right? So, and already I am saying high quality of seed is required for high crop production. Right? So, besides the high quality of seed, various uh, inputs are also important like fertilization, irrigation, right, and uh, production from the best. But high quality of seed is very, very important part. So, uh, what is the feature of good quality of the seed? Good quality of seed have genetic purity, uniformity and should conform to the standard of the particular cultivar. They should be disease free, uh, they should be viable, right, and uh, free from admixture of other crop seeds or weeds or any kind of inert matter. And uh, they, they, are, they are accepted, they should be acceptable in respect to size, shape and color. So this is the quality of seed. They should be genetically pure and uh, they should be they should follow a standard particular standard of the particular cultivar. They should be disease free. They they should be viable, right? And they should be free from uh, various uh, inert matters, weed, right? Crop seeds, etc. Uh, right? And uh, they should also be have uniformity in the size, shape, and color. So next part is ki, uh, how they are going to affect the productivity. So we can see this data quality of seed account for uh, at least uh, they can increase. 20 to 25 percent of the productivity according to the state of Indian agriculture 2012 and 2013 data. So if you will go back to the history. So uh, Rig Veda also mentioned that uh, if you want to prosper a human race then good viable seed is uh, required. Uh, uh, Sabjivam uh, Sakshetre Jayate Sampadete, right? So according to Manu Smriti, uh, also this uh, was emphasized that seed is ultimate importance of the human growth, human population, right? So the study was to uh, own saved seed and no applied seed production was there rather than saving the seed and growing it into the next generation. Uh, before the independence, uh, there was uh, no scientific uh, features, there was no private sector, there was no government efforts, right? And then uh, uh, for the uh, proper distribution of seed for, uh, for improved variety, there was a uh, commission that was called as the Royal Commission of Agriculture established in 1925 in Calcutta, right? So then National Seed Project came up uh, with the help of World Bank and uh, it implemented in the three phases and then uh, there was a further uh, uh, 15 states were uh, having this kind of project right and uh, new seed policy then implemented in 1988 in order to improve the quality of the seeds and uh, according to the Mazumdar uh, you can see uh, now private sector were uh, also involving themselves in the seed production right and after the liberalization of the seed trade uh, further uh, improvement was there in the private sector effort for the quality seed production okay so and then you see in 2001 uh, there was establishment of farmers right where farmers were given full right to save the seed use or exchange or sell because after the patenting uh, implementation there was a ban on uh, the right to save or uh, farmers cannot use uh, or cannot sell cannot exchange the seed from each other they, they always have to buy right so there must be Quality seed production So regulation of seed quality okay. uh, You want me to share the password right? I am just sharing the password uh, Just send them This is ah. You can share this password, right? 
Okay, so let us start again. Uh, then the seed bill was there in 2004, uh, which was regulating, you see, the effort was regulating the seed quality, right? Uh, removing the uh, uh, poor quality seeds and implementing the one with the improved variety seeds, right, according to the State of Indian Agriculture Act, 2013, right? And then uh, there were various center ICL sponsored project for the seed improvement. And now you can see India ranking six position in the world with revenue of uh, how much? 110 billion in 2013. And Indian seed market has grown up to 12 percent annual rate, where the annual growth rate of global seed market is 5 percent. And over the last seven years, we will see the, this market, this. Uh, uh, Capability of growth, see, market has grown up to 18 percent from 5 percent, okay? And from 12 percent annual rate to 18 percent. This table seed, so accounts for 20 percent of the total seed produced in the country in 2003, right? Okay, so you can see uh, various kind of uh, now vegetable seeds and various other seeds are produced in our country and this is continuous growth from 2007 to 2013 and there are two types of seed production uh, according to the classification, uh, varietal and hybrid, uh, we will discuss what is the varietal seed production, what is the hybrid seed production, but uh, you should know that what is the impact of poor seed variety. If you can, if you are uh, selecting the good seed, good quality of seed, then you can see the higher yield is there. <coughs> if you are selecting bad quality of seed, then no yield is there. So use of poor quality seed nullify the utility of all agronomic practices and every other inputs applied to the crop, no matter how lavishly they are applied. So economically, the cost of seed is a very small part of so you always must use the high quality seeds. You can see uh, when you are growing the seeds, even in the nursery you can identify them. This is the good quality seeds. This is the bad quality seeds. Right. So according to the uh, Sindur Sen, uh, importance of seed can be summarized in a sentence. What are known as the seed of bow may turn into seed of frustration. Means if you are not selecting the right kind of seed, they may be turned into seed of frustration. Means your quality of crop or yield of the crop will not be satisfactory. Okay? So seed uh, standard must be followed and what is the seed standard? Seed is standard assume that there must be high genetic purity, physical purity, physiological quality and health quality. Right? And uh, uh, what is the seed production? Uh, if, uh, if anyone is growing system for the systemized crop production, this is called as the seed production, right? So, uh, by systemized uh, crop production, you have to follow all the uh, rules and norms for the seed production, right? So, this three already we have discussed, and uh, this was the uh, a bit growth, and then you can see the broad category of the seeds, farmer system, and uh, you can categorize various Indian seed systems not only to the government sector, government sector means public sector, uh, that includes the ICR mainly, right, that is the formal system, and then private sector, uh, various seed companies are there, retailers are there, right, and uh, informal system of the seeds are, where farmer are saving uh, and the seeds and they are using again and again, and also uh, you have heard about the impact of green revolution, so uh, this green revolution is ultimately because of the good quality, it, it, its emphasis was to use the good quality of seeds, right? And as a result, there was a five to half fold increase in grain. No okay. So what we can say, uh, what was the impact of green devolution? The impact of green devolution was only because of the good quality of seed. And uh, ultimately, what, what, is, uh, what was the result for green devolution? There was a five to half fold increase in five four grains, and uh, uh, now the total crop production was uh, 284 million ton in 2018 from 50 million ton. Okay, so this was uh, around 
according to the four according to proposition there was a four fold increase in the uh, uh, four to five fold increase in the total according to so poverty is also going to reduce because there was enough sir aapka sound hi nahi aa raha hai sir abhi sound hi aa raha hai pura atak gaya hai sir net slow gaya hai sir aapka ah uh, maybe net slow gaya hai sir high speed net ho raha hai आवाज आ रही हेलो नाउ आई थिंक सिर्फ वॉइस क्वालिटी इज गुड अभी वॉइस क्वालिटी ठीक है हेलो इम्पैक्ट <laughs> Involvement of private seed sector and that results in the 15 percent growth in the market area and 20 percent from government side, 15 percent from the private sector and uh, total involvement uh, and there is now 450 seed companies so total involvement of there is as a result there is 65 percent growth in the market sector. So what are the challenges before seed industry? See the challenges. Why is uh, kind of challenges are there? First, the challenges is the climate change. We don't know what kind of cha- uh, climate change will be there, right? And that is going to have a greater impact on the seed production quality. So nowadays there is a fortified seed available in the market and uh, also produced by the various companies. So uh, because uh, sir, many times they are not responding well. Farmer are going to be in the loss, so there should be incentive from the government side. But uh, until date, there is no such incentive or level from the government side. And uh, strong policy support is required to the farmers because farmers are helpless on this, and they are dependent on the seed for their uh, quality crop production. So uh, private companies have been one or other rule to bound them so that they cannot seed, they cannot export, they cannot sell, they cannot use. So they are. Uh, restricted in the IPR restrictions, the intellectual property right restrictions. From the uh, government side, uh, the strong, <coughs> strong support for the farmers. And if you are watching uh, over the policy of the GMC, <coughs> still uh, our India not having a strong GMC policy. Sometimes it is banned, sometimes it is allowed. So still, you know, because of lack of proper research. Proper facility, proper infrastructure. The government is uh, 90 percent uh, time, but it is not available in the GMC. So pricing control on this, there is no pricing control seats. Many times uh, it is uh, go beyond the pocket of the farmers, and uh, there is no standard protocols or standard labs where these seats can be tested before the trials before the crops, right? So uh, there, there is very sensitive that in India as well, where uh, farmers were uh, buying the seeds from one central company, the seed was not responding. As a result, they were then kept, and uh, then in the middle, you know, the government was brutal and killing 200 farmers from the US. So that was the cruel things, cruel cruelty of this uh, seed acts. And also, there are very small companies. They are very difficult to survive because very large mega companies are in the market, and they are not uh, going to allow them to grow. So now we will uh, study about the, what is the scope of Western Indian seed production. What is the importance of uh, study of this seed production? So if you see the importance is that the major importance is that, and now the India. Uh, is second largest producer of vegetables in West Bengal. This is the fact. And in India, West Bengal are growing 6.2 million hectares in production of 94 million ton. Now, our vegetables requirement in the country is estimated at 225 million ton by 2020. So, this, uh, this can be a number one of pests, right? For the China even. 
there is no such kind of growth is there. Substantial increase in the yield and quality of vegetable crops, uh, IPI basically depends on the various factors like seed, fertilizer, irrigation, land production, reason and sustainable economic practices. And already uh, we have uh, discussed that uh, there is a uh, ancient in this culture that good seed on good land is abundant produce. Right. This uh, uh, as huge in recognition to the good quality seed in crop production. So always um, we have we are about economically make a label of the, these seeds because if the cost will be high in the farmers or farmers will not be able to afford, right? So, so the, the farmers always should be given the better quality of the seeds. They must be encouraged to get the better quality of the seeds. So you know uh, ICR is doing a lot of effort and not only in improving the genetic and physical quality of the seed, also uh, they are training, they are, they are involving farmers in this training programs, right? So, if you are talking about public sector or government sector, so major concentration is about the open pollinated variety. Uh, I, I think already my own open pollinated variety would be uh, varieties of which wheat and rice account for 60 percent. Majority of the promising uh, hybrid of vegetables are from the private sectors. The private sectors are doing a lot of, lot of good quality of the hybrid sectors. And they must be known to the farmers so that they can use in the future, right? And, uh, so private companies are uh, a very good scope and opportunity to succeed. Many entrepreneurs, uh, many students, many labels are involving in the, this kind of seed production. So they are following all the practices. Right. So you can see the growth in the private sector company is about 67% of the seed production and farmers keep their own. Right. So what is the status of present seed production? Talking about the government agencies, uh, including the public sector population uh, center and state, they are hardly now contributing about 33%. Right. So most of the contribution coming from the private sectors, okay, entrepreneurs, uh, research centers. Oh. So estimated requirement of vegetables is at present is about 20,000 tons for tropical and subtropical pines and 200 tons for temperate one, which will constantly increase in the years to come. Right. Come the vegetable garden people so 6,000 to 7,000 ton Hindi around 5,000 onion, uh, 5,000 ton onion, 2,500 ton. Okay, so I think you might be clear about the present status of the seed production. Annual sale of seed of Indian is to see. Now it's a growing. Now Indian seed industry market is ranking six in the domestic seed sales. The value of seed sold in the domestic market of India is in the of 1,500 million. Are around uh, 6,675 crores. The present value of the seed export from India is around uh, 111.3 crores. India is at 29 place in export of the seed. Amounts to 0.35 percent of the world seed exports and 0.1 percent of the Indian agriculture export. So, what is the value of uh, domestic seed market, you can see that in the, uh, we are, if you see the top 10 countries, India lies 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 percent, right? So this is the status of the domestic market, right? And uh, what is the strength of Indian seed sector? It will develop the latest seed multiplication and distribution system linked with the several ICR institutes, schemes, SFCI, and various centers are there. There are about 20 seed certification Agency are now available at national level, central and federal laboratories, 108 notified seed testing laboratories, in the state level, legally assured the quality seeds moving in the seed markets, over 6,000 varieties and hybrids, different crops of the world, very good climate condition, they are registered in the national catalog, which makes the selection easier for taking up production in a particular area. So our country is restored with variety, Varied agro climate conditions can be exploited for taking up seed production of vegetables at any time of the year in one or other part of the country. So uh, there is a strong network uh, now of public and private sector 
uh, of CJSC with research and development facilities and very fast development of private six companies which are helpful in bridging the gap between demand and supply of Western cities. No active government policies are not implemented. So now in summary you can see the ICR issued how much 102 state agriculture university 71 all India coordinated and network process 89 PC began 10 more than 720 because this is the data older data older can data right and uh, now I think seven more than seven thousand uh, PC began 10 rather than this is part of the state six part of the state six part of the state five private six companies. 500 small and 50 big the NLC, Indian Society of Technology 1971. And you can see this is the some important uh, scientists that the plant leaders of the contribution first one is very popular name T.S. Venkat Raman, an eminent sugar grain breeder with transport thick stem and high sugar content from tropical novel cake to North Indian cake. This process is known as novelization of Sugar cane means uh, uh, this is the name adopted from the tropical uh, novel cane which were having the high sugar content and then by the reading technique this was transferred, this quality was transferred to the North Indian plains. Now they are in very profitable. So the industry is not really very very profitable. BP Paul, another eminent wheat breeder, developed superior disease resistant and the different varieties of wheat. And third is the MS Swaminathan, responsible for grain evolution in India. There are the high yielding variety of rice. Puskarnath, famous potato breeder, you must not forget MS Swaminathan, grain evolution as I discussed. Uh, he himself developed very scientific variety of wheat rice. NGP Rao, an eminent sorghum breeder. So these are the few names. There are 100, 100 people are involved. Uh, so scientists, great scientists are involved there. Name has not been mentioned. What is the weakness of vegetable seed production? Vegetable seed production in the country has been vulnerable to baggage of weather. Weather is going to affect a lot, and because of bad weather, sometimes that results in the poor quality seed production. And realistic data is not available, realistic data is not available for the exact vegetable requirement for the future. That's why there is, that is another problem. And uh, also, there is no and proper planning for the cropping system and uh, particular crop especially and uh, that's why the maintenance, uh, the maintenance is very very difficult and also we are talking about uh, uh, newly developed improved variety so uh, many people are not aware of that, many farmers are not aware of that how many new developed varieties are there so there must be some news agency, newspaper, some local agency, government agency that they should inform, local FM channel, local TV broadcasting channel, they should inform the okay, Now it is in that see, there are various TV programs, various radio programs coming for the farmers, hello farmers, right? There are very hello Kisan. Non availability of adequate nucleus and leader seed in the seed process. Uh, what is the nucleus of the seed? Uh, mainly the scientists, scientist people, are some uh, scientific, scientific research and medicine is involved in the um, the seed production, then they are part of the nucleus of the seeds. Problem in lifting of the seed against indents. So, what are the national efforts now? ICR is strengthening its effort in uh, constantly development of uh, hybrid seeds. Right, and there is a formulation of new seed bills in 2004, establishment of NSRTC, uh, explicit quality control, absence of pathway, absence of building center, right, foundation of national seed farm, uh, right, launching of national seed mission, uh, 61 variety of planting crops in OECD, right, in this July 2001. Better seed production program, ICR has provided the public fund of 1500 lakhs for such program. Okay. So, this is the uh, national report and the strategy for seed improvement. You can explore the, the quality of hybrid breeder, this is the best approach for varietal increase in production of crop. Then, I think if you see the area under hybrid is about 27 percent, by the contribution to this percent. So, uh, now description of Putting wide varieties, uh, variety, 
plant variety person we have discussed last week that sensory sensing dance in the plant variety person and this necessarily required detailed characterization of all varieties and then you have more scope of improving the varieties and such kind of improvement led to the various uh, development of crop varieties and such thing and if we talk about the enhancement of seed replacement grade so old seed must be removed and this should be constantly checked and there is the various molecular techniques like SSR, SSR, uh, this is all about the seed testing and this should be uh, removed if they are not of good quality and the topic you can see the SMR, the seed multiplication based seed this must be calculated, you can see the various crop okra, SMR is 1 to 100, 1 to 100 ऑलवेस्ट properties okay so seed quality you can measure by the uh, genetic engineering uh, marker which is marker that is called the sequence repeats ssr right and uh, they are the very rapid technique of testing the seed purity especially their parental line uh, and you can see this is the list of uh, crop ranger ssr 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 ss100 cauliflower 86 chili 83 corn melon 89, 92, 99, 99% pure. SRR percent is how much purity is there? So you can see the 99, 99% pure. Beans, 62. So you can know if these are hybrid or these are pure based on the percentage of SRR completion. So you can see the industry is the eighth largest now in the world. Data um, distributed value of NR 9 billion with an annual growth rate of 2. 14%. But in the scope of seed export, now there is a good scope of seed selling, seed export, seed can be exported from India to various other countries like Indonesia, Bangladesh, China, Sri Lanka, but not Afghanistan. Right, various other uh, countries, Central and South America, and the marketing developed country. So you can see the various Indian cotton hybrid are now, but they, are, they have been grown, they have purchased from the African countries. Right, and because their mis rates are very low, so they can be implied very successful. Okay. So uh, you can also identify the area of the seed production according to the right or whatever the different strategy in the seed uh, improvement programs are, popularization of quality seed, licensing between the scientists and the cotton crop culture, production of intellectual property right, variety characterization, strategy. Strengthening of hybrid program, exploitation of same system for the cost of hybrid seed, and the production of disease, free seed, seed processing, packaging, storage, biotechnology, biosafety, human food development, seed demand forecasting, export of seed, five generation system of seed multiplication, nucleus to breeder, breeder to foundation work, and foundation. The foundation to the certified seed. And if this is going to be followed, then it will be huge growth in the crop end, right? There will be no loss because this will have to be certified. Nucleus and bitter seed are not certified. Foundation and foundation two are certified. So always when you are purchasing the seed, no one is uh, bothering to see this foundation. These are the foundation one seed and foundation two seeds. So always try to purchase the foundation two seeds. And uh, contract seed, that's a farmers. Yeah, always before selling the crops, you should try to make a contract with the private company. Much better opportunities with bank should be established by the government so that whenever there is a calamity or bad condition or some type uh, uh, there is a famine, then at that time seed bank can be uh, applied. So seed bank can be done. So what is the hybrid seed? There are now these various hybrid seed have been produced for the paddy, cotton, maize, sorghum, palmer, flower. In the right seed of paddy, also I have been used uh, for the various vegetables like tomato, ginger, corn, and produce more economically and for the export purposes. But the export opportunity is for the particular classified into 
two major categories: first one, personal wisdom, which is export of branded seeds. And India has our own inherent wisdom. But what trade agreement? Agri uh, export zone now established by the government, by the sectors, by the state, and now that this is expected that uh, India export will be double uh, by 2007 or more. What about in So, seeding program programs already we have discussed. There is a new seed bill in the 2004, and uh, there is a seed quality control. Uh, and central capacity building center will also establish, uh, right? And uh, also there is a new policy established in the form of PPB or FR authority for collection of intellectual property rights on new crop varieties, right? And there are also I have discussed various national seed plan is going on up to state level, central level, uh, right? And uh, there is national seed mission also has been drawn as a result. There is 61 variety of 19 crop. Uh, have been uh, included for the improvement by the government of 2011. ICR are um, uh, already giving a lot of funds. So, what is the benefit of separation? Benefit of separation or higher income, higher quality seed products? What is the landmark achievement in agriculture? Landmark achievement in agriculture in the uh, 60s, 70s uh, are the result of combination of by introduction of high ending variety, increased fertilizer rules. Expansion of irrigation facilities, massive extension efforts, improved farm practices, and above all, the genuity and industry of the Indian farmers. What are the national seed policy? According to the national seed policy, uh, there, is, there must be uh, good quality of seed for the future, right? To enhance the seed investment trade of various crops, and this would require a major increase of quality seeds. So, according to national seed policy, first area has to be right development, seed production, uh, seed replacement, rate enhancement, time, time is responsibility for production of bigger seed, uh, to that of the ICR state agriculture university, uh, and population of new varieties, competition of new varieties of farmer with minimum time back. So, uh, after the polling, we will start studying the floral biology. The option will be there. ये so, first you should know that the importance of tomato, there is a improved design, lower hypertension, diabetes, diabetes, prevent alistone, uh, uh, good products to help, to uh, get and fat and fat and this kind of stuff, like that, right? Part. And also very good for the smokers, so both the other smokers, people are smoking a lot, then this would be eating constantly the tomato. So, tomato is very, very important. Common name is tomato, particular name is venom, liposcum, formerly known as liposcum, aspiratum, or new name is venom, liposcum. Uh, it was in the 19th century by Mr. from zone number 24, Solanesi family, center of Port in Peru. There are various other species. Uh, you can see the dot, prominent species, help and help. L. Penline, uh, L. Harris, some good border resident, L. Chespani, South resident, L. Penum, Leaf, Virus resident, L. Pimpy, Melicodium, a resident, such as Pugerium, and only bright resident. What is the objective of breeding? Uh, breeding breeding for earliness, breeding for increased protein and food quality to increase the food quality to increase the cell type uh, increase the uniform size right and deep red color breeding for disease resistant like pigerium with grape type uh, and bacterial grape uh, what is the other importance you know to breed variety so you processing to breed variety so for long stories for example Flavor saver, they are very hard and can be transported safely without losing the quality. 
and the building in the of the quality seed uh, that represents the incentivization power to more are we white flies right and ready um, for antibiotic stress system sometimes to improve the bone tolerance property joint tolerance property sound tolerance property no temperature tolerance property and uh, beside tolerance so what is the floral biology floral biology study of the complete uh, complete structure from flower structure to fruit structure okay the flower are bisexual are by okay that they are uh, symmetric and so five parts and which are anther the calyx is united at least at the base corolla is also united but it's a shape varies okay so that is the stem and petals of your ovaries style stigma approach all right okay so all these are done uh, right so flower uh, flowering behavior and this is We start in the morning at six a.m. Maximum flowering till late morning. The cells eight a.m. to eleven a.m. A receptivity of the stigma sixteen hours before. You should know it because then you can um, harvest this property with a better yield. And uh, the plants vary in mating system from completely outdoors to completely indoors. Something cultivated tomato and wild tomato. So cultivated tomato are self pollinating. Pollinating, pollen setting of an August four flower plants, and self pollinating leads to homozygous inbred lines of pollination. Self pollination must be avoided. So crossing must be done. So what is the crossing for the first part? The emasculation. For the emasculation, the removal of the anther. You can select the anther, you can pick the anther, and then you can uh, selectively remove the anther, right? And then when the collection of pollen must be there. Uh, collection of stigma is. Style. Style is most important for pollen. So stigma, emasculation, then uh, pollen collection, right? So dry and first for twenty four hours at thirty degrees centigrade after the collection, right? And uh, they are stored at a dry, dry place, and then you can perform the pollen collection for the dry stigma by these collected pollens, right? And then after the pollination success, pollination you can see there is a production of hybrid crops. And now they are very, very good for collection of the seeds. Okay, so this is called the breeding techniques. Breeding there are various uh, breeding techniques like uh, row line selection for uh, arca, arca sorrel, arca cross, back cross method is available. Commonly utilized in white crosses are in a inter-specific gene transfer for this type of disease. Okay, and uh, there is another technique called the pedigree method. And most common method is tomato. In this method. Uh, single plant selection is initiated at two, and is continuous through successive generations to pure line is obtained. This is called the pedigree method. In the genetic method, uh, single seed descent method, recessive breeding, the descent we will discuss later on. And the biotechnological methods are also available. And then breeding for resistant antibiotic stress can be developed. Tomato is sensitive to low and high temperature from the stage of transition to ripening. So transgenic uh, variety can be developed. Uh, the good growth at high temperature or low temperature, and there is a flavor of the variety now developed for long shelf life, having thick outer coat, and they are better for the transportation. So this is a uh, this variety has been developed in the Arka Raksha. This is the first public triple disease resistant variety in India. Uh, I think it's a variety in ninety to hundred tons per hectare in India. Put it on this triple disease resistant tomato leaf pearl, that's the wheat and other flies. Summer time season. So uh, now we are studying about the germ plant sources. What is the last time for the class? I think this is eleven. Uh, What is the timing of the class? Any idea? Nine fifteen to eleven fifteen, right? Assis. So, what is the germ plant sources? It defines the germ plant. This question can be asked. So, some total of gene in the graph is species referred to as the genetic source of gene pool or gene stock or germ plant. In other words, gene pool refers to full library of different allele of species. So, germ plant is the basic material with which plant breeder has to initiate his breeding program. So, it is the genetic wealth that a crop has acquired over a period of years in existence under. Natural condition of humans. Cultivation thus provides raw material for plant through natural or human 
in the brain. So germ plasm is a uh, living tissue, okay, from which new plants can be grown, which can be a seed, seed is also germ plasm, which can be a part of the plant, a piece of the stem, pollen, or just two cells that already uh, can work as a germ plasm, which can be based on plant. This can be information for species, scientific method, but even measuring for the plant diversity, right, and uh, uh, jump plants may be the seeds, may be the leaf, may be stem, may be pollen, may be cultured cells. So, why, which can be grown into magic plant? Any jump plant, any such jump plant, uh, which contain the gene, uh, which uh, the breeder used to develop a commercial crop variety. So, plant uh, jump plants is a genetic source made by the plant to test for the new cultivars. How cultured cells are maintained? Many times you have to store under the freezer condition or cryoprotectant condition using some, uh, some cryoprotectant like DMSU, dimethyl sulfide, uh, right, so methanol, methyl propyl, explosive, minerals, dicot, they are called the cryoprotectant. You can see this is the DMSU, commercial they are already in the market. Yeah. And uh, you can, uh, whatever the uh, germ plasm is there, the tissue culture is there, they can be stored in the DMS. So the freezing, slow freezing is done, rapid freezing may be done, the stepwise freezing can be done before the final storage in the nitrogen uh, liquid cylinder, uh, which uh, with the temperature minus 6 degrees centigrade. And now after uh, closing them into the proper vessel, they can be freezed into proper tent. And if you are uh, going to use them, fine is very essential, which can be done in the warm water at temperature 45 degrees centigrade. Right, and what is the importance of this jump plant? Uh, certainly, you are going to have good uh, crop variety because you have good jump plants and they are very beneficial for the local cultivars, uh, genetic diversity. Yes, sir. So, this is the importance and uh, type of jump plant. This is not a very important, but uh, I will be discuss with you. There are uh, normal cultivars that are called the land races, and then absolute cultivars which is produced by the breeding program, and then modern cultivars, modern cultivars, high yielding varieties are there, that, uh, the modern cultivars, advanced breeding lines, they are developed uh, because of various generation selections, and they are pre released for the testing in the fields. And then wild form of uh, cultivar, which is locally uh, saved by the farmers, and then they are used, or sometimes they are purchased uh, by these uh, resistant uh, seeds uh, by the farmers, and they can be grown uh, to various levels. Uh, for example, Oriza, Nivara, Oriza, Matwa are wild form of rice uh, crops. They can be used for the crossing with the particular species. And now you can see uh, there is a NPGR in India, this will be of non genetic source. And in the New Delhi, we are in the field of maintenance of class, collection of jump class, and for example, sorghum, pansyjum, wheat, barley, oat, rice, maize, and other important agricultural crops. So there are various kinds of seed collection can be done. Uh, and there are various conditions where they can be stored, uh, base collection, active collection, and working collection, right? And there are temperatures. Uh, what is the utilization? Utilization is that whenever there is a famine or uh, emergency condition, then these jumpers can be huge, they can be characterized, they can be evaluated, they can be different varieties. All right, so these are the benefits of uh, these uh, seed improvement programs. And there are various international and national organizations, and VPGR, Pusa, New Delhi, international organizations like. Uh, CGAIR, Consumption uh, Group of Group on Agriculture Research Institute, International Farm Genetic Research Institute, IPCRI, Rotary, International Potato Center, CIP, Lema, Peru, IRRA, Philippines, um, uh, ICRI, SET, Hyderabad. So these are international organizations. So from the next lecture, we will study the principal and method of breeding cell pollinated up to cross pollinated, cross pollinated, cross Okay, so if you have any question, you can ask. Thank you.